So I watched hundreds of rabbit room tours to prepare for this. And while they were all beautiful and functional for the rabbit, there's a lot of things that I think could be done better. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how I think to set up the perfect rabbit room. This video isn't just concerned about aesthetics and things like that. We're actually gonna be making something that's functional and enriching for the rabbits. I'm gonna be setting this entire room up entirely from scratch, so it's gonna be a lot of work and we should get started. So the first step is to clean and disinfect the room. I always like to do a really thorough vacuuming and I'd like to take a wet paper towel and wipe down all the surfaces. You can also do a diluted vinegar solution, but I just find water works well because the vinegar is acidic and could wear away at some of your finishes, so just be careful with that. Next, you're gonna want a rabbit proof. Rabbits are very mischievous, so you're gonna wanna look everywhere. Hiding cords is one. Rabbit proofing is also very personal and depends on the rabbit. For example, my rabbits have been in carpet for over four years and they've never really messed with it until recently they started digging at it. So I've had to cover that up. Some other things you might need to consider rabbit proofing are baseboards. A lot of rabbits love chewing on these. And if you have any big pieces of furniture that your rabbits could get under, this obviously is too small, but you might either want to put an X pen around it or you can put it up on higher legs. So if they do get under, it's easier for you to get them. The next step is to add some type of second level. This not only practically doubles the space because now they can go on top of it and under it, but it also helps keep their hind legs strong. Rabbits have super powerful hind legs and when they're always on one surface like this, they're not really exercising those back muscles. So causing them to have to jump up on things and even using ramps is really important. My second level is just these two Ikea lock tables put together but you can also do one with NIC grids or even just a cardboard box. When adding a second level, the main thing to consider is one, there's actually sufficient space for them to get on top and utilize it. I noticed that when these lock tables were alone, my rabbits weren't using them so much because once they go on top, there wasn't much to do. So having a combined bigger space really makes it more appealing for them to actually want to jump up. Speaking of jumping up and down, you want to keep the area around it fairly clear, especially if it's a little bit of a bigger jump. Your rabbits are going to need space to either run up to it and jump and have a good amount of space right when they jump down. So don't crowd around it. After you have your second level, the next thing I recommend adding is your litter boxes. So you already know that I'm not a huge fan of covered litter boxes because they don't really provide much ventilation and they only have one entrance. But I don't know if you guys can tell, I just have really bad um, like wheezing right now, but I'm trying to fight through it and get this video out. Even though I don't like covered litter boxes, rabbits still need to have an area where they can feel secure. So I think doing something like having a litter box under a table is a great compromise. I have this wooden laundry hamper, which is the hay holder. And this also provides just a little bit more security if they're feeling nervous. I'm also not a huge fan of hay racks. I just think they cause rabbits to tilt their heads at a really unnatural angle. And especially if you have a hay rack that's kind of harder for them to access the hay where they have to pull, it's really painful for them and it's a muscle that they never really use. And also, they're just not going to eat as much hay. I've decided not to use a hay rack, but if you want to, you definitely can. What I would recommend is just putting a little bit of hay also in the litter box so they have the option to graze normally so they don't have to tilt up. A lot of people worry about rabbits pooping and peeing on the hay. It does happen to an extent, but rabbits are really smart and especially if you do it a half half like this, where there's hay on half of it and the other half they can sit, you're really not going to have many issues. And even so, the hay that they do pee on and poop on, they're not going to eat it so you don't have to worry about that. The rule for litter boxes is to have at least one per rabbit. Now, for the most part, if they're well bonded, they are going to share a litter box. They're pretty much going to do everything together. But on the off chance that one does decide to become territorial over the litter box, you always want to have a second place for the other one to go. If you have rabbits who are newly bonded or they just have a lot of territorial aggression in their relationship, you might want to split up the hay boxes or the litter boxes completely. But my rabbits are pretty well and I can usually keep them right next to each other. But sometimes I will spread them a little bit more apart like this just to give them a little bit more privacy if they decide they want it. The key to litter boxes is to keep them accessible. I see a lot of people with these really elaborate litter box setups where there's like a box and the rabbits have to jump into the box and then go into the litter box or where the litter box is kind of tucked away in a little closet or corner. The issues with that is one that your rabbit's not going to use it very much because it's just going to be really inconvenient for them to get to. 
And the other thing is if they're not using their litter box, they're not getting enough A intake. I've had Sachin almost four years, and in that time, I've never had any health scares with him. And I don't think that's because I'm an amazing owner. I think the key is really having high quality hay and a lot of it. Now, if you're really set on having your litter box in a little corner, I think that's fine. Just make sure you have another point for them to access the hay, whether that be like a hay box or a hay mat, just so they can get the hay intake without having to go all the way to the litter box area. After the litter boxes, I like to add a water bowl, or actually two water bowls. I like to have one that's near the hay because hay is very drying. Hay is 80% of their diet, but it's literally dried grass. So naturally, after they eat a big chunk of this, they're going to go and get a big gulp of water. So make sure you have one nearby. That being said, their litter box area is by far the messiest area of the room. So the water bowl right next to it is going to get pretty filthy. So I always like to include a second one that's further away. Also, just a reminder, it's so important that you have big water bowls because rabbits love flipping over stuff. So if you have a little tiny water bowl, one, it's probably not going to last them the entire day, but also it's very likely that they're going to try and flip it. Also, I do have an entire video about water bowls and water quality, and it's actually specifically a review on that fountain, but just make sure that you're not using any plastic watering bowls because they're just not very good and they harbor a lot of bacteria. Stainless steel, in my opinion, is the best, but you can also do this, like ceramic or glass. And rabbits also need fresh filtered water at least every 24 hours. If you can do it more often, that's better. And every time you're replacing the water, make sure you're scrubbing down the water bowl with warm soapy water. And then the next thing you're going to need is some type of hide that has at least one entrance and one exit. This is really important because in the wild, rabbits really don't like using something with only one entrance because it's very likely that they could be trapped in there and then just eaten. So having something like this cardboard tunnel is going to work really well. Also, if you have a bonded pair of rabbits and they're fighting when they're inside of the hidey house, you want to make sure that they have each a way to get out. And when you only have one entrance or exit, that can kind of be like a death sentence. Where you put the hidey house really isn't a huge deal. Just decide what placement works well for your room. I don't love to put hidey houses right near the litter box area because this area has poops everywhere. So I think it's just a lot easier to have it farther away. But depending on your setup, it might work better somewhere else. Rabbits have two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are continuously growing. Now while the hay does do a lot in keeping it trimmed down, and cardboard is a great safe toy for them to use, you're going to want something hard that's actually going to help wear down their teeth in case they're kind of overgrowing. And then you're done. At this point, your rabbit has everything that they need to thrive. Now I would also do a re-evaluation here to make sure that you like how the room looks, and also that you're offering good floor space for them to actually run and biggie. I think enrichment in toys is amazing for rabbits, but at the end of the day, I find that there's nothing my boys love more than having a giant open room. So I always like to make sure that they have ample space just to run around and just let them be. If you're finding that your room looks a little bit cramped, you can actually combine a lot of these things. For one, the Heidi house to second level and the wood shoe can all be combined into one. Also, I know it might seem counterintuitive to add more stuff if your space is already tight, but making a bigger second level pretty much doubles your square footage because you have a bunch of area on top and area underneath so you can also go that route. In my case, I think the room actually looks a little bit empty so let's fill it with some more stuff. I'm going to tell you guys what are my most favorite rabbit toys. When I'm adding toys and other stuff into the room, I like to take notice of the litter box area and I pretty much am not going to add anything in that wood area. For the most part, you're going to be cleaning this area every day to every other day. So just making sure that it's accessible for you to clean and it's not getting too messy is really great. I'm also not going to add too many stuff around the second level, just so they have ample room to jump on and jump off. Another thing is corners. For one, if you have carpet like I do, rabbits will definitely love digging at the corners. And also, if you're working on litter treating your rabbit, it's very likely that they're going to choose a different corner to poop and pee in. So just having some things there to cover it up is great. I'm going to add this IKEA tunnel to mine. Another thing I love to do is just put a cardboard box with a lot of their toys in. I think it looks really fancy to have all their toys concise, but also my rabbits absolutely love pulling stuff out of the box, and it's also great if you actually want to scatter feed in here. I added a tunnel behind the fur lighter cage because they absolutely love running past here, so adding a tunnel there is just going to make it even more fun. I also added these two cardboard DIYs here. This is just a cardboard woven mat that I made from a trifold board. It was really easy. And this, I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's kind of this little toy where they can just swap this little ball around. 
and they can also roll it so I put that there and on top of their second level I added this woven grass mat just to give them something to chew on and then lastly I'm gonna add this mini garbage can here because there's always a mess to clean up so it's nice to have that So that's my rabbit room start to finish, how I set it up, and just some tips. Let's bring in the two boys and see what they think. I think it's safe to say that they love it. Where are you gonna go? Oh, I knew they were gonna love that. Oh, I feel like they always get so excited whenever I redo the room, but I feel really bad because it's literally like the same five stuff again. They get this excited even when it's not a new setup and I've literally just cleaned. Oh, get that itch, get that itch. Good itch. <laughs> Ooh, there's a big itch. Do you need help? Can I help you with your itch? No? Okay. Okay, that's all I'm gonna film right now because if you guys can't tell, I'm literally dying. If you don't hear from me again, it's because I passed away from being super allergic to rabbits. Okay, bye. If you guys wanna see more of them and join their setup, be sure to watch my other videos because I'm probably going to keep this set up for like a month or two.